In this specific video, you're going to learn how to show widgets on certain pages using a plugin called Widget Logic. Let me explain briefly what Widget Logic is all about. Let's say, for example, as I'm looking at this blog here, that I only want to show the calendar on a certain page. Now, by default, as you can see here, if I go to other pages, you'll notice that I see the calendar on all of the pages. Now, let's say, for example, that I only want to show the calendar on one page, or I only want to show a specific widget on a certain page, or all of these pages except for one page. I can do that with Widget Logic. So it enables you to really utilize the widget space here so that you can use different widgets you can increase interactivity with your website viewers and so forth. So it's really, really exciting just because you can do a lot with Widget Logic. So the first thing you want to do is hop on over to your administrator dashboard and you'll want to go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And what we're looking for is Widget Logic. Click on search plugins and you're going to see two widget logic plugins. Do not download the widget logic visual plugin. You want to download this one at the very top. So go ahead and click on install now. Click on OK. Enter your FTP username and password. Click on proceed. Activate the plugin. And fortunately with Widget Logic, there are no configuration settings. However, what you want to do is hop on over to the widgets section. So go under the appearance section and click on widgets. Now, as you can see, you have a bunch of widgets here. And at the very top here, if I click on one of these widgets, the drop down menu here, you'll notice at the very bottom, it says Widget Logic. This enables you to specify the widget logic for a specific widget. Let's say, for example, that I only want to show the calendar on the Contact Us page. So if I go back to the live site here, as you can see on all these pages, the calendar shows up. But I only want it to appear on the Contact Us page. So when somebody clicks on contact us, they see the calendar. But if they click on the testimonials page, they don't see my calendar. Now, how do I go about doing that? Well, if I go back to the widgets section here, under widget logic, there's a special keyword that you're going to need to use. And that keyword is, is underscore page parentheses, single quote, and then the page name. So in this case, it's case sensitive. So you want to make sure that you use uppercase and lowercase. In this case, contact us, the C is capitalized, and us with the U capitalized, and close that with a single quote and parentheses. And that's all you have to do. So if I click on save and I go back to the live page and I refresh the page, you'll see that I'm looking at the testimonials page right now and I don't see the calendar. If I go to the sample page, I don't see the calendar. And if I go to the home page, I don't see the calendar. However, if you go to the contact us page, as you can see here, you see the calendar. So that's pretty neat, huh? Let's do it the opposite way. Let's say, for example, that I want to show the calendar on every single page except the Contact Us page. In this case, what I want to do is put a exclamation mark right before this special keyword. 
The exclamation mark means not. So it's everything except the contact us page. And click on save. And if I go back to the live site and refresh the page, you'll notice that on the contact us page, there is no calendar. And if you go to the other pages, you'll notice that there is a calendar. With the exclamation mark, it means that it is not going to be on the contact us page. And you can also change the contact us to testimonials and any other page. So now you can see how convenient widget logic is if you want to put widgets on certain pages and really utilize your widget space.